You know, I had a lot of questions about this kind of stuff, too, just as an Xbox fan. When you look into it, it kind of makes sense that this is the way things kind of went. And I have to say, you know, it's, it's a positive bit of momentum for Microsoft at a good time because you have Sony with the PlayStation 5 Pro right around the corner. And so everybody's talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro, and maybe rightly so, you know. Sony knew what they wanted to do with that right away. Microsoft kind of went in a different direction. Uh, you know, what's going to happen in the future is anyone's guess. But I feel like this is uh, some positive news for Xbox. And you know what, this positive news for gamers in general. So, you know, I, I think that that's something that we'll all have to kind of understand as well. Uh, for 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 all intents and purposes, I feel like Xbox is doing some nice things. I still think that they have to kind of bring in that whole uh, transparency situation uh, as well. But any you know, again, that's up to each person individually to figure out uh, what's going to happen. And you know, again, it should be kind of kind of fun to see how how people sort of react to this stuff so i want to get into it. it should be a fun video what's up everybody i'm crap gamer this is crap gamer reviews with another video thank you so much for checking it out i certainly appreciate it please like share subscribe i would appreciate that as well it helps out the channel it means a lot to me personally and you know again you guys are fantastic i do daily gaming content multiple videos a day uh, really kind of just depends on what you're what you're looking for you know like I like to do uh, a lot of these videos I, I like to do videos to keep people entertained I like like to keep people informed as well um, and and that's super important to me so you know keep that in mind as you uh, kind of go along and things like that so yeah anyway um, this was something that I think a lot of people were asking about and now we kind of have confirmation uh, about what's going to happen with it and i feel like this is for the better for sure you know like in the industry it's kind of fragile right now and some of that is its own doing right let's just be clear um I, i'm playing a lot of older games because you know there's a lot of agendas and things in newer games and it just seems like i, I just i can't really get next to that but this was pretty interesting to say the least and uh you know as an xbox fan hey cool to say uh, that this is happening. So, yep, I gotta say, this is pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, you know, again, I like Call of Duty. I've been a Call of Duty fan for a long time. Well before you know, Microsoft bought it. You know, I bought Call of Duty uh, since day one. And, you know, I've thoroughly enjoyed Call of Duty and, and, and what it's brought to the uh, to to the stage and things like that. So, that to me is pretty cool. And, you know, uh, so when Microsoft bought it, a lot of people were like, well... Is Microsoft going to do a longer development cycle for these games? Like, what's going to happen there? And now we have an answer. You know, things aren't going to change. The structure is not going to change and things like that. Um, they have so many different studios working on it. It's a cash cow. Uh, now, we don't know exactly how much money Black Ops 6 brought in, but we know that it has brought in, um, you know, a good amount. It's got a lot of players and things like that. That doesn't necessarily equate money, but, you know, it doesn't help it doesn't hurt either so activision has claimed that call of duty's development structure hasn't changed under new ownership with microsoft with up to 15 different studios working on the franchise in recent years in order to keep up with the yearly release cycle of call of duty activision studios would trade off yearly entries meaning a studio could take up to three years to produce a game rather than to be expected to produce a new one each november activision confirmed in 2021 that all of its core studios were working on the call of duty franchise now speaking in a recent post matt cox senior vice president and general manager of call of duty at activision claimed that this hasn't changed and i quote when you look at treyarch and raven they have a history of working together within the black ops franchise going all the way back to 2010 you have this history with people you work with and that ultimately shows when it comes to the finished product from a publishing and go to market standpoint the latest entry in the activision shooter series black ops 6 was released uh, on october 25th on pretty much everything xbox series x and s xbox one ps5 ps4 pc notably it was also the first uh call of duty available on game pass day one uh, activision blizzard drove a 43 percent jump in xbox revenue during microsoft's first quarter uh and the company has said this past week as well um you know with black ops 6 and warzone season one launching november 14th activision announced that it'll introduce a colossal amount of free content so again i feel like this is good news for microsoft um it really kind of changes the game 
for what Microsoft is trying to accomplish, in my opinion. And again, it just goes to show that, you know, hopefully this is something like a franchise that can kind of get into, um, you know, people's hearts, you know, again, like Xbox used to be very synonymous with Call of Duty. I know people don't believe that or whatever, because, you know, over the last decade, it had been Sony realistically leading the charge there. But, you know, on the Xbox 360, Microsoft used to pay to get maps early. And I think they got them what, a, a month early. And you wouldn't think that that was a big deal. But I have actually witnessed uh, numerous times in stores back in the day where people were getting, you know, they own both consoles and they're like, well, which one should we buy um, Call of Duty on? And they went with the Xbox 360 at that time because you know they got the maps first and things like that getting new maps was a huge huge deal back in the day and so obviously this was a big bonus for microsoft so nice to see that you know things aren't going to change it's not going to take a, a you know you know a year off or anything like that because i feel like the industry needs call of duty i know people like to make fun of it and people like to say oh well you know we don't like having that yearly uh call of duty or whatever but at that same point you have to realize that without Call of Duty, I think gaming would be, um, you know, w would be down once again. You know what I mean? Like we get the, the reason why we get Call of Duty and, and and the games and stuff come out like year year after year. It really helps the industry. It's kind of that big game that gives a big boon to the the industry at the end of the year every single year, and always helps kind of drive in that revenue. And I think that's really important. You've got to have that. Um, you know, across the board. So supposedly, um, you know, when it comes down to what Xbox is doing, you have a situation where Xbox is really kind of delivering a lot of different options to people. They have, you know, the, thanks to the revenue from Activision itself, uh, we live in this type of world where, you know, gamers are, are able to do kind of what they want and have a lot of choice. And, you know, I think, you know, people that go, well, where's this good news for Xbox? How is that good news for Xbox? Listen, a yearly release of Call of Duty is extremely good news for Xbox. And the reason why it's extremely good news for Xbox is because, you know, having that steady flow of income, having that steady release of Call of Duty is going to do, you know, massive numbers for Microsoft. And, you know, people in Game Pass or whatever will be able to honestly have, you know, kind of whatever they want in terms of, um, you know different games to play and things like that. So, you know, I hope that you know at the end of the day that Microsoft continues to add value to the platform um, You know, obviously It's kind of in the eye of the beholder on what's going to be what but you know again, there's very um, Different ways that people look at these types of things and looks at gaming and and things like that so hopefully now that Call of Duty's development structure won't change, uh, you know, may, you know, and, and I think originally I maybe wanted some things to change. Uh, you know, you thought like Toys for Bob, for instance, were stuck doing Call of Duty. Um, they didn't need to be doing Call of Duty, you know. It's just like um, when we look at it now, it's such a different atmosphere and different situation than back in the day. And so, you know, when we kind of look at how things are, are being worked on now. Toys for Bob no longer is under the Activision umbrella, so they can do their own thing. That's a good thing. But why would Microsoft, who spent billions and billions of dollars on Activision, not want Call of Duty to come out yearly still? You know, I mean, you, sometimes you get stinkers like Modern Warfare 3, but then off oh, sometimes you get like really good games like Black Ops 6. So, uh, you know, again, this is good news. This is good news for the industry, good news for Xbox, good news for Microsoft. Um, really kind of good news for PlayStation as well because, you know, they're continue getting a quality product and, you know, it doesn't look like that's going to change. I don't really think that there's much that can happen with, um, <laughs> you know, with with Call of Duty that would cause people to, to not buy into Call of Duty. You know, like there's almost nothing that can happen. I mean, it's kind of withstood quite a lot of different, um, you know, uh, controversies and things like that and it always comes out looking good so you know again we'll see how that continues to kind of work down the line and if that's something that um, you know Microsoft will be able to kind of get working uh, before too long but anyway how do you guys feel about this do you guys feel good that Microsoft is going to continue to adhere to what Call of Duty always was uh, are you one of those complainers that just complains but buys it anyway uh, I'm just kind of curious you know because to me 
um, you know, Call of Duty's that game where you do complain about it, but you still play it, you know? So let me know what you guys think. Rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer them up. I'll catch you next time. Crap gamer out.